Hello everybody! As promised, I am bringing you last part of my comprehensive collector guide. Thank you very much for your support so far. I do really appreciate it. First of all, let me update you on the situation with new releases. According to the latest tweets, Release of the first three Totakus that were promised for September is now delayed. Surprise, surprise! No surprise there. And should be released together with Pac-Man and new classic Lara Croft in November. The good news is that they have already released packaging for those, so that's good. The bad news is that Lara Croft doesn't have packaging, so I doubt that it will be released together with others, and I expect her to be delayed for the next year. But maybe we'll get a good surprise. Who knows? Maybe Santa will be merciful. Okay, so where did Totaku came from? In January 2018, there was a widespread rumor that PlayStation is starting their own figurines called Totaku. That rumor was false and only very few sources got it correct that actually PlayStation has licensed some of their characters to be made under new Totaku franchise and that owner of production is Thinkgeek. Actually, owner of production is GameStop Dublin Ireland, as seen on their own packaging. So, the GameStop is the owner of Totaku. And they have buy licenses from different companies, like PlayStation, Namco Bandai, Microsoft, and who else, in order to make those cute, nice figurines. So, why was Totaku born? Why? Because of this. Success of Amiibos gave GameStop ideas. Why not to make our own brand? As they are the seller of Amiibos, they knew perfectly just how many collectors were asking for them, how many people just want to put them on the shelf to look nice, look at it, and many of them don't even own any game that uses it in any kind of constructive way. Unless you want to call to have a custom costume that does nothing in a constructive way. With that said, they said, why not? Let's jump on popular games or semi-popular games or games that have a good nostalgia and let's make something of our own. According to what I have seen, my estimation is that this idea came from end of 2016, beginning of 2017. And by September 2017, that is when my Totaku website was registered by GameStop. They were either already in final stages for licensing of first batch or they were highly in negotiation. I would assume that most likely in the final stages. Now, the question is, what did they do good? For one thing, quality of it. You can see how much focus is there on detail, textures of the figurine. Even the tiniest parts are painted properly. This is a different league than standard McDonald's toy. This is in par with the most detailed amiibos. So when it comes to that, this can compete this as a display figurine. That is certain without any further discussion. Now, with that said, they also did a lot of blunders. Let's start with marketing. Marketing what? Yes, exactly, marketing what? They did a bit effort to announce it and then they let it live its life, hoping for a fast cash grab. It's not happening without you supporting it, without supporting collector communities. And it took 
pages to get a bit normal looking website and still that website looks more like a school project where somebody once a month log in and said okay maybe let me add something and then let it be for another one or two months to go by and nothing will happen. Why is it that if I want to find details about the delays, I have to go through the tweets, I have to go through the rumors, I have to see receipts from the leaks, GameStop information in order to get something from you? Why can you do inform fans, okay, we are working on this, we are working on that, that is the future. Or at least say, okay, this was delayed and put it on the website, guys, on the website. So, with that said, what is the future of it? Given that they are releasing new 5 and working on new 10, and I am only guessing that all those blunders with early pre-orders and with being visible on their GameStop website. It's most likely prototypes they are working on, so that's a good news. And I'm just hoping that they will take it the right direction, meaning to be more open with fun, to explain more. Yes, it will cost me my job to inform you, but when you get the information from the official source, that's much better for you than waiting for somebody like me to get angry and to say, okay, hey, nobody is informed, there are rumors over rumors, let's summarize the map and let's give it to you. So I just hope that this will get better. Please, GameStop, get a bit better. You have the platform to sell them. Treat them as a child, not as a stepchild. And give them what they deserve. Because you do have fan base, and that fan base is growing. So do not disappoint them. Thank you very much. If you like this video, you can subscribe, you can like it, and you can comment below. I am especially curious if you have some news or something to say or maybe you have even insider information that will be exciting for everybody else around because everybody from the collector community is waiting what next exciting will we get from Totaku, where we will go. We don't want them to crash, not yet. We want them to continue, we won't have nice collection in our shelf. Thank you! Bye!